I thought maybe later today we could all... <coughs> oh my god, Mom's choking! Out of the way, I'm an EMT. <coughs> Her airway's jammed. Come on now, just like that. <coughs> I need some gravitational help. Oh no, her clothes are constricting, as are mine. Oh my god! Oh, thank you, Jerome. Dear Diary, Jackpot. <laughs> All right. Hey there, sweetie. How old are you? Sixteen. Eighteen? You're first. Mom! I like where this is going. Giggity, giggity, giggity. It's the Q-Man and my super-powered genitalia, Apache Penis e nay chuck ah! You go on and beat it, little Nick! So, you ladies ever been penetrated? <laughs> Suck on this, you furry little weirdos! <laughs> the radio. <gasps> oh my god, are you okay? No, I don't feel so good. We should probably exchange numbers. Okay, I'm a ten, you're a four. <laughs> I did not see that coming. One more. Let's watch one more. Well, hold on. Like all television viewers, our first priority before deciding to continue watching a show should be whether or not it features enough diversity. I felt very well represented. Oh, I'm glad, honey. Mm. Hey, thanks for letting me come over, you guys. Suck on this, you furry little weirdos! <laughs> There, Peter, how would you like to take a half a pound of hamburger and make a delicious meal for the whole family? Sure. Okay, then let's... Hold on there, Peter. I've got something even better. Oh, really? You bet. How would you like to take a half pound of hamburger and make a delicious meal for the whole family with cheese? What? what? I don't... I, I, I could just take cheese and put it on the thing he's doing. No, it won't be the same! Look, he's my brother. He didn't get enough oxygen at birth. He's never going to be quite in step with the rest of us, and this is sort of my way of taking care of him. Well, that's nice of you, but it was so much simpler when it was just you and me doing our thing. I know, but just let him have this one. Odds are he won't even come back with the actual food. Okay, cheeseburger helper, you're on! Yay! Cheese, cheese, cheese! Yay! I'm so sorry for your burden. You're a good brother. And this is Peter and I at our wedding. Oh, you look beautiful. And he's a handsome fella, ain't he? Well, I am ready for my evening. Oh, my God, Peter, what the hell? Peter, what are you doing? Oh, surely, Jerome, you don't want to stay in the same house as a ghost who carries a torch around. Ooh, fire ghost. Oh, you scared yet? Didn't know this place was haunted, did you? Peter, take that thing off. Hey, what the hell's going on? What the hell? Stewie, get out here. Look at this. 
Do you know anything about this? About what? About what a beautiful date? Oh my god, that is surprising. Oh, I had to stop that last sentence in the middle because I was so surprised. What happened? Gee, I don't know. Do you know what happened? <laughs> I'm sorry, what, what was that? I, I, I was laughing at that funny thing you said at dinner the other night. What funny thing? You, um, you, that you, you remember what, what you said about Lois's um, potatoes are rotten? Huh, didn't think anybody heard that. Wish you'd laughed at the time. But, but what the hell happened to my car? Well, I don't know, man, but the good news is that it doesn't look all that bad, Brian. It's just, it's that spot right there that's upsetting you, right? Stewie, I know it was you. Your potato joke was terrible. Help! I'm supposed to have surgery, but my doctor disappeared. Okay, Josh, this is the shot you've been waiting for. Okay, Derek, this is the shot you've been waiting for. Well, son, you played good, but your dad is still number one. Yeah, I don't think I'll ever beat you. Hey, Chris, what's with your leg? Oh, my God, that's not your leg! Uh, uh. What's wrong, honey? I'll tell you what's wrong. I'm trying to make love to you when you're thinking about Chris. Peter, is there something you need to tell me? Thanks to you, our son has a huge wang. Thanks to me? Well, he didn't get it from me. What are you talking about? I'll show you. All right, stand back, Lois. Oh, my. Well, no wonder he's always slouching. How the hell did this happen? I'm supposed to be the man of the house. You must be so ashamed of me. Oh, Peter, I care as much about the size of your penis as you care about the size of my breasts. Oh, my God! yet? No. Hey, Chris, how are you? Well, I'm glad, Brian. All right. Did you have sex with this underage girl? I don't want to go to jail, but I really want to take credit. Quagmire, I'm afraid you're under arrest for statutory rape. <sighs> all right, but let me just send the pictures I took of her last night to all my friends. Uh, oh, yeah. Boom. You're disgusting. Okay, now add 20. Okay. Now multiply it by four. Okay. And what do you got? 8,008. And what does 8,008 look like on a calculator? Oh, boob! Boob, yeah! All right, all right, all right, boob! What if we had two calculators and we put them next to each other? <gasps> yes, 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 find one, yes! Meg, stop staring at Mr. Griffin. I'm sorry, Peter. I'm afraid she's got a father's libido. What can I say? I'm a vegetarian. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was terrific, Jessica. It was good for me, too. Ah! <laughs> got, got you again, Quagmire. You said you were that waitress from Friendly's. I lied. You jerk. I didn't feel anything, but you did. Happy Halloween, man asks the bartender to recommend a good drink. The bartender says a grasshopper. So the guy orders a grasshopper. And then he's walking home, and along the way, he notices a grasshopper on the ground. So he says to the grasshopper, Hey, you know there's a drink named after you? The grasshopper says, You mean there's a drink named Irving? <laughs> <laughs> so which one of you wants to lose your virginity? Glenn, this exercise should help teach you self-control. Here's this month's Victoria's Secret catalog. Oh, oh God, oh God, uh, 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 dead kittens, dead kittens, uh, uh, old nuns, uh, really old nuns, uh, Renee Zellweger. Oh, there we go. Let me try. <sighs> Yummy. Watch this. <sighs> <laughs> like the movie The Ring. Awesome. Here, you. Giggity, giggity, crabbity, giggity. I got one. Would you rather get a massage from a man or surgery from a female doctor? Wow. Like minor surgery? No, serious surgery, like a blown kidney or something. Jeez. Good question, Peter. Is the man gay? Nope. Is the female doctor at least Jewish or Asian? No, but actually, you know what? I'm going to take it up a notch. Hispanic female doctor or gay male masseuse? Hispanic from Spain? No. Oh. oh, God. I am so hungover. Oh, me too. But luckily, when I'm hungover, I can just molt into another Peter. 
Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, but for the next ten minutes, I'll be very vulnerable to predators. <laughs> Mountain lion, make yourself look big! Yellow! Hey, Quagmire. Hey, Peter, what's up? How much? Well, what do you want? Nothing, I'm just called to talk. What you thinking about? What? What do you mean, what am I thinking about? You called me. I just wanted to say hi. So what do you do? Damn it! Come on! Come on! Come on, Glenn! Come on! Get your head in the damn game! Hey, 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 hey! That's a stroke! I just tapped my ball, Quagmire. Relax. Oh, relax! Oh, okay. Oh, oh, look! I just tapped my ball. Oh, just tapped it again. Oh, oh, tap, tap, tap. Oh, where is it? Oh, it's in the hole! Eagle! Yay, Quagmire! Hey, Quagmire, you know it's not fun when you're like this. You want fun? Go home and buy a monkey! What does that even mean? I don't know. Boy, we got a beautiful day for this. It's Peter. Oh, he went to get plastic surgery. He did? Yeah, Korea's the plastic surgery capital of the world. Nobody here thinks you look good unless you have big round eyes and a tiny little nose and chin. Hey, guys. Peter, are you all right? You know what? I feel good. I feel like I want to giggle behind my hand at a lot of things and hold but not eat a big ice cream cone. Why did you have to provoke me? Why did you have... Quagmire? Hey, you are. Nobody's seen you in days. Hey, Peter. I've just been, uh, checking out some of that internet porn. You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I'm just gonna go, go and check my mail over there. You been lifting weights? Uh, no. No, I don't, I don't think, no. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Peter, I, I gotta, I gotta get back. Holy crap! The jail's already full of dads getting out of Thanksgiving. Well, if we're not going to Koha Jail, where are we going? The only place where there's room for the weekend. The state penitentiary. <laughs> You guys thinking what I'm thinking? Wacky mugshot montage! Hey, uh, are my friends coming? No, they're all calling lawyers. You used your one call on this party photo booth guy. Eh, we'll see who has more fun this weekend. There's no way across. Spidey, can you swing us across with your web? No, I can't swing you across. And it's Spider-Man, not Spidey. I'm pretty sure I've heard people call you Spidey. Yeah, close friends. What's your name? Peter. Hey, Petey, do stuff for me. Oh, I don't like that. Yeah, you don't like it. You're a fat nobody and I'm Spider-Man, so how do you think I feel? Have you ever put butter on a Pop-Tart? It's so freaking good. Have you ever put butter on a Pop-Tart? If you haven't, then I think you should. I was sitting in the kitchen one day and I was itching to fill up my belly with the piping hot jelly of the best damn treat in the world. He's talking Pop-Tarts! And I saw a stick of butter and it almost made me shudder and scream like a baby girl. I don't want a giant penis or a rocket trip to Venus. I don't want to win the lottery. I just want to squat and gobble till I'm dizzy and I wobble in a butterfruit and Joe's hot dream. So I put butter on a Pop-Tart. It was so friggin' good. Have you ever put butter on a Pop-Tart? If you haven't, then I think you should. Everybody, come along with us. Have you ever put butter on a Pop-Tart? It's so friggin' good. Yeah. Have you ever put butter on a Pop-Tart? If you haven't, then I think you should. Pop-Tart! With butter? Can I be excused? I want to go eat the rest of my food up in my room. Sure, Meg, if you want. Eating disorder! I don't know what's going on with Meg. She doesn't want to leave her room these days. She's depressed because she's in love with a man she can't be with. Listen to that. Poor kid banging her headboard into the wall out of frustration and loneliness. Probably got her legs up in sadness. Listen to her now. Washing her face off in the sink after crying so much. Probably got tears in her hair, poor thing. I'll go up and talk to her. Am I the only one who thinks she's getting fucked up there?